tortured in my side, my abdomen, torture, directed energy, torture, causing convulsions. Venezuelan Embassy, Panama City, Panama. The Venezuelan Embassy, Panama City, Panama. Torture, torture. Torture, torture, directed energy, torture, torture, torture.
directed energy, torture, directed energy, energia, energy, energia, directed energy, energy, electromagnetic energy.
trauma acústico mm -hmm. bilateral. Acoustic trauma. Bilateral. Sí. And hearing loss and... Bilateral hearing loss. Sí. So this is Brian Tu um, at the ear doctor's office in Quito, Ecuador, March uh, 24th, uh, 2017. And uh, I was trying to show the doctor the YouTube uh, ear examinations I posted on YouTube showing the previous damage and suddenly the internet went dead. So this is, this is the tactic that they use. Can I see this? Okay, so this is the, uh, can you explain in Espanol? Um, yeah. Trauma acústico? Mm -hmm. Bilateral. Acoustic trauma. Bilateral. Sí. And hearing loss and. Bilateral hearing loss and acoustic, acoustic trauma. Sí. Mm -hmm. 10 decibels of uh, hearing loss. No es mucho. Go ahead and explain in Espanol, yeah. Yeah, sí. sí. Go ahead, go ahead, Espanol, sí. Espanol. Yeah. Eh, un trauma acústico en los dos oídos con una pequeña disminución de audición en casi todas las frecuencias, a, para 10 decibeles, no más. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do you say? Good. Is, is that good? Okay, okay. está bien. Okay, yeah, this is Brian too in the, in the ear doctor's office, um, so... Uh, and here, here, uh, I, this is the ear exam here, or one of them that she did. Okay, okay, this is the ear doctor in uh, um, Ecuador. She's the ear note and, and throws doctor, and she's going to explain a trauma, acoustic trauma, in Espanol, in Spanish. Do you need a right here? Uh, no, just go ahead and explain in Espanol. Ah, solo es hablo. Sí. I am speaking. Sí. Yeah. Tiene en audiometría un trauma acústico debido a exposición a ruido. El un examen en rojo es un enmascaramiento, mientras que en, a, en azul está el oído izquierdo normal con caída en tonos para trauma acústico en 4 y 6 mil. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Yeah. En la timpanometría, en la timpanometría, tenemos una buena respuesta en el oído derecho, mientras que el oído izquierdo nos demuestra que hay presencia de líquido o una obstrucción de la trompa de eustaquio. ¿Ok? Perfecto. Gracias, doctor. How the middle ear, the eardrum and the pressure in the ear, uh -huh. it's it's today, it's right, right now. Right. So your e middle ear is working fine. Okay. So right. the eardrum is working fine, the pressure on the middle ear is fine, uh -huh. the little bones are working fine, okay. the right and the left. Okay. So this is what's showing. So if I do the test, the, I know there is no middle ear problem. Okay, okay. okay? All right, and then because the other can, is? The other is called the autoacoustic emission, uh -huh. and this is the one that shows the outer hair cell damage in the high frequency at four and 6,000 hertz. Okay. Okay, and the and other then, is the audiogram. What's this down here at the bottom? Uh, oh, this? No, it's the yeah. same, 4,000 hertz. Okay. It's different frequencies. They start from 1,500, 2,000, 2,008, which is fine. Okay. Then two, then four, six. Yeah. It repeats frequencies. Okay, all right. Four, six. Okay. Okay. And then this one is what? This is an audiogram. An audiogram? Audiogram. Okay. And a speech, uh, it's called... Is a speed de speech detection threshold uh -huh. and speech screen. How did, how did I do with the speech detection? Was I the speech detection was consistent with the audiogram, and the discrimination was fine, but at high levels, at, at lo loud intensity levels, you start losing um, 
lowering the discrimination percent. It, I'm not able to understand words as properly. Well, at louder, well. louder noises. A louder noises of your the voice is being starts being distorted, so you don't have a hundred percent which you should have, and you start having 80, 70 percent. Okay, so that, that consistent with damage to yeah. because of lo loud yeah. noise, yeah. being exposed to an sustained, sustained high pitched screeching loud noise yeah. for a long period. That's consistent with that. Yeah. Okay. And then this is over here. What? what is and this it? is the no. I just copy the, the tympanometry. Oh, okay, the okay, 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 okay. I just okay. copy because I want to keep because this starts erasing, so I have it recorded here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. How the middle ear, the eardrum, and the pressure in the ear. Uh -huh. It's it's today. It's right, right now. Right. So your middle ear is working fine. Okay. All so right. the eardrum is working fine. The pressure in the middle ear is fine. Uh -huh. The little bones are working fine. Okay. The right and the left. Okay. So this is what's showing. So if I do the test, the, I know there is no middle ear problem. Okay, okay. okay? All right. And because then the other can, is? The other is called the autoacoustic emission, uh -huh. and this is the one that shows the outer hair cell damage in the high frequency at four and 6,000 hertz. Okay. Okay, and the and other the, is the audiogram. What's this down here at the bottom? Uh, oh, this? No, it's the yeah. same, 4,000 hertz. Okay. It's different frequencies. They start from 1,500, 2,000, 2,008, which is fine. Okay. Then 2, then 4, 6. Yeah. It repeats frequencies. Okay, all right. Four, six. Okay. Okay. And then this one is what? This is an audiogram. An audiogram? Audiogram. Okay. And a speech, uh, it's called uh, speed de speech detection threshold. Uh -huh. And speech discrimination. How did, how did I do with the speech detection? Was I The speech detection was consistent with the audiogram, and the discrimination was fine, but at high levels, at, at low, loud intensity levels, you start losing, um, lowering the discrimination percent. It, I'm unable to understand words properly. As well. At as louder, well. louder noises. At louder noises, of your, the voice is being, starts being distorted, so you don't have 100% which you should have. And you started having 80, 70 percent. Okay, so that, is that consistent with damage to because yeah. of lo loud yeah. noise, yeah. being exposed to an sustained, sustained high pitched screeching loud noise yeah. for a long period. That's consistent with that. Yeah. Okay. And then this is over here. What? what is and this it? is the no. I just copy the, the tympanometry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I just okay. copy because I want to keep because this starts erasing, so I have it recorded here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Entonces, este es el izquierdo, este es el derecho. El daño es en la parte de, esta es la parte de la cóclea. Entonces, la cóclea, esta es la célula ciliada externa y las internas. Un pelito aquí arriba. Aquí están dañadas las internas, pero él no tiene las dañadas las internas. Es la externa la que está dañada cuando sale aquí. Es como un, un, un daño ya de ruido, de exposición a ruido fuerte. O, él dice ultrasonido, sonido ultrasonico, uh -huh. fuerte. Y eso da, daña el oído. Cualquier ex, ex, eh, exposición externa fuerte puede dañar el oído. ¿verdad? Sí, que es Entonces, lo que tiene que, que le molesta. Que tiene que le molesta y lo que tiene también es un tipo de distorsión, que él oye una cosa diferente. La S la ve distorsionada. Sí, can, you, can you show me on this, on this, uh, on uh -huh. this thing where the damage is? The damage. You actually have a slight hearing loss in both ears. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. And take a picture of the other one too, because okay. I didn't do the, do the bone conduction here. Yeah. But in the other one is the bone also. Yeah. But it's the same, so I don't have to do the bone because it's the same thing as last week. Okay. So it's it's um, you have a slight hearing loss in general in both ears, uh -huh. and you have a higher frequency loss in four and six thousand hertz. Okay, that's because in the of right, high pitched screeching sound. Uh, and in the left, more on the four thousand than in the six, but you do have it in the. Or acoustic emission, the damage. And that's consistent with being exposed yeah. to sustained. To a loud, sustained, loud. Sustained. S noises. High pitch noise. And high, high pitch, especially high pitch, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also you, you have very low tolerance to sa to let That's loudness. recruitment? That's, that's recruitment. Yeah. recruitment. Severe pain by loud noises. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, entonces esto. Now is, is recruitment is, is recruitment no, no. is recruitment caused by the, the damage to the ears? What's caused what causes the, the damage in the ear? The pain with the loud sounds yeah, caused yeah, by damage. damage. Because there is damage, there is recruitment. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, 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 you don't have an appointment with Doctor Isaba, right? No, no. no. I, now I will. I will. Yeah. Yeah. I need to make one. Yeah. So, because what I can do is. Um, 
escribirle esto, pero aquí esta computadora no tengo yo aquí. To write in the computer everything together. Mm -hmm. Can you go by and get it from my clinic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the clinic this yeah. afternoon. Yeah, okay. So, entonces se lo voy a entregar hoy en la tarde. Okay. De la computadora para poner esto junto, todo en un report. Okay. Todo, porque instead of making one report here, one right. report here, right, right, right. we'll do it all together. This okay. one worked better than the other one, didn't it? And yeah. you can yeah. have the appointment uh, for and next can, week. Yeah, okay. you can, yeah, you'll have it this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you, you prefer to pick it up, but yeah. I'll have it. Okay, I'll, I'll come ready. get it, yeah. All okay, right. and so we're ready to finish. Yeah. Like I was telling you, we have the, the, the hair cells, which is where the... I wanted to show you something. Huh? I wanted to show you something. Go ahead. Uh, uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So what, tell me what's wrong with my ears now. Okay, some part of the ear, this is a very objective test. What it does is it evaluates the hair cells of the ear. The hair cells is, is the nerve. The hair cells? Which is right inside the ear, the, 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 the ear. Can I take there. a picture of that? Okay. okay, can you show me right now what this is? Okay. So this is the, oh, this is the ear, of course. Uh -huh, right. And the canal, we uh -huh. have the eardrum. Right. And then we have the middle ear, which are the the where the pre pressure, the air pressure in the ear is, right. and the little bones. Right. And then we have the cochlea, which is the inner ear. Right. Inside the cochlea, we have a, 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 a line of hair cells, which is like a normal. Right. This is a normal cut of one side of the right. ear. Okay. Okay. And here we have. The inner hair cells, which uh -huh. is the one on the top, I don't know if right. you can see. Yeah, I got it. And the outer hair cells, there are three, three uh, lines of okay, our hair cells. Right. Okay, the first damage because of noise or anything right. external will be first the outer hair cells uh -huh. and then the inner hair cells. Right, So okay. we have a damage here. You have the outer hair cells damage here, but you have both damage. Okay. okay. Sometimes we have a hearing test that shows a normal hearing and we have damaged outer hair cells. Right. But in the in the hearing test, it shows normal hearing. Right. When we do this test, which which is called autoacoustic emission or or, or, or autoacoustic auto emission. emissions, uh -huh. what it shows is the damaging. If there is damage in the outer hair cells mm -hmm. because of noise, because of any external noise sound right. that damages the hair cells. Okay. And you have you have the test that I made in in the other clinic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I posted I, I don't have it with me. Okay, bring I'll, I'll, I'll do some here. Okay. Anyway, but do you have some damage, hairs, outer hair cells, in the high pitch area. Right, okay? 4,000 hertz and above? Let me show you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I got so, it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, compared to the 5th of August. Okay, from, from, from 2014, I was at 95. And 90. And, 90, and now it. I'm at, it's what am I now? It's called the UCL levels, the intolerance level, okay? So what am I now? So now you're 70. And 70 and it's getting lower. It's getting to the, the level. Distortion is, is so bad. It hurts. It's bothering you. I mean, I, can, I, I cannot say, I cannot tell you a list of words at 70 decibels because it was hurting. Yeah. And before, I couldn't tell you the, the sentences, the words at 95 because it would hurt you. I went up to 95. I went up to 90, actually, and you were fine. Today I went up to 60, and you were fine, and then 70 was too much. So what does that say? Has been it says that substantial the, the, damage. The the level. Distortion. The the level. I, don't, I cannot say distortion, but the level of intolerance. What it, is getting is getting worse. Pain, pain the, to the, to the loud sound. Exactly. The, recruitment. The, the, like the recruitment. The 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 level where where pain starts, okay? Right. It's it's getting to be shorter and shorter. So, so it means it's so it since 2014, softer, softer. So it cannot go louder than 70 decibel because it's hurting. At 70 decibel, it's a level that you can go around the world and there's a lot of things at 70 decibels. And you're not being gonna be able to, you're not standing, you're not able to even listen to those words at 70 decibels. Without pain. So it's cutting up, it's cutting down from 95 to 70. So, in a okay, year. In a year. No, but not in a year. Not even in a year. This, since August, it was 90. In August, a month ago? Yeah. So, the 5th of August, you, you, I went up to, uh, in the right ear, I went up to 80 decibels and you were fine. I, I reached 90 and it hurt. 
Uh-huh. Today I went up to 60 and it was five, and at 70 it hurt. So I've, I've had substantial 20, damage in the last three and a half weeks. In intolerance, it, it becomes very intolerant. The, the soft. The, how can I because say? Because of acoustic trauma and nerve damage, I have. Uh, in the last three and a half weeks, suffered greater distortion causing intolerance. You're, you're, causing intoler you're getting more intolerant to any softer sounds, not but, even louder But sounds. would being exposed to a high-pitched screeching sound do that over a, you, over a prolonged any, period of anything, time? Anything that you're exposed to a loud sound is going to damage your ear. So, so you, can, the, you see, can you see based on, based on your tests from a month ago? From, at, from a month ago and now audiogram you know, audiometric results level wise is the same. Ah. You know, the, the audiometer, the audiometry is right. the same. The only difference is that, that you cannot stand anymore me going up in volume saying do, the words. Do you remember when we, before we did the exam, I told you that in the last three weeks there's been more substantial mm -hmm. damage? Yes. Before I showed you the they torture videos? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, those torture videos are, are older videos. I, um, but in the last three and a half weeks, I've been brutally tortured with this technology in my sleep. They're using theta waves mm -hmm. to keep me in a forced-induced sleep while they target my ears to do severe damage to my hearing. Um, and I can't wake up from the agony of the attack. The few times that I have woken up, it felt like my eardrums were bursting. Mm -hmm. from, the, from the sound. Yeah, it felt uh, it was so it was so bad I almost screamed. Mm -hmm. I was just walking with my my uh, head my I could yeah yeah but I could didn't help. Right, because it was inside. It's energy, right. So I'm going to write this down for you. And, and check if you have your results from the internet, the, the email. Okay, but again, so to make it simple, because he's not a doctor. Right. Okay, so in three and a half weeks, you've noticed a substantial difference? There is a... Through August 5th until now, there is, four there weeks. Is a, of course, there is a substantial difference in intolerance level. Right. So it has gotten worse. Right. Say. In, in, in four the, weeks. In, in four. four weeks. The level that you could tolerate before it was 90 decibel, up to actually up to 80 decibels. Right. And today you tolerate up to 60 decibels because louder than that it hurts. Louder, you know, louder than 90, de like louder than 80 decibels a month ago it hurt. Today louder than 60 decibels it hurts. Yeah, I feel when I listen to loud music, I, I feel the pain. Right, you cannot, you shouldn't be hearing loud music, yeah, because it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you more. Really? Yeah, 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 because anything. So anything, how, how, how can you? Anything loud will make it. it will, so how can I go from in, in four weeks from from uh, ninety to sixty? How can I do that? Well, that would have, that would have to, that, my complaints. Are consistent with my symptoms, are they not? I mean, basically, what I'm showing, what yeah, I showed you. Basically, yes and no, in the sense that yes, intolerance-wise, what you what you report of intolerance, yes, is the difference. In the sense of audiometric results, is the same. So I cannot tell you. So would directed it, energy do this? Would, could you, infrasound, ultrasound? I don't know. I don't know if I can tell you that because I don't know. Of course, how loud noises will do it. Ultrasound. Yeah. Ultrasound loud noises. I guess it would. Yeah. You know, I don't know about ultrasound too much, but uh, but definitely a, a loud no sounds, loud now so it sounds, and their high frequency will make will damage your ear. That's what I've been having. Yeah, a high pitch screeching sound. The high pitch. Mm -hmm. so. This is uh, uh, Brian too, and uh, Managua, Nicaragua. September 9, 2015, at approximately, uh, uh, what time is it? That's not no, right. That's wrong yeah, that's wrong. It's, el it's 11, 10 after 11. 10 after 11. In the morning. In the morning. And the fact that what I've been reporting on for five years is precisely this the, the consequences and the outcome of these compartmentalized and secretive programs that have wreaked havoc on this country. And Worldwide, actually, and World that's something I wanted to ask you. Yes. How is it? How is it that MK Ultra has become a, a thing that is now having worldwide consequences? That people are reporting this around the world. The same thing. The same exact thing. No, it, it's worldwide, and it was intended to be worldwide for the New World Order government. Would you uh, say we are in the New World Order currently? Uh, yes and no. It's just going to get worse. All military technologies will 
eventually seep into the policing forces of the uh you know the united states especially that's already happened though yeah that's already happening so yeah we're in the middle of the transition um uh we and here here's another kind of theory why would you want democracy in every country well it's because of mind control weapons we can control who gets into power so the cia gets especially interested when someone wins let's say like donald trump or uh, Jesse Ventura, who I interviewed with, governor of uh, Minnesota. Oh, yes, the very famous uh, interview. He said as soon as he got in, uh, 11 or 12 CIA guys uh, interviewed him at the, in, you know, the basement of the government mansion or whatever and asked him, how did you get elected? You were not supposed to win. And uh, so they were just curious why their their voting models were wrong. <laughs> but uh, the point is to give the illusion of democracy and freedom that your vote counts, but not actually allow it to happen uh, in terms of global events and and uh, right. And they could. They control it through the media. They maintain this farce that, you know, we are living in a separate nation. We have a democracy, etc. But it appears that from everything you are saying that the military and intelligence powers in this country, well, we know they have a connection with the intelligence powers in other countries as well around the world. And they appear to be running the entire show, the world show, not just the U.S. show. So this suggests that these particular programs, these mind control programs, these neurotech targeting programs, neuro disruption programs, they are sort of creme de la creme. They're the ultimate secret that the DOD CIA wants to keep forever secret. And they really think they can get away with it. I mean, how have they gotten away with it so far up till now? Uh, using uh, many uh, techniques by counterintelligence we spent a lot of money on counterintelligence and what does that mean literally dumbing down the population so we create cover stories like alien abductions or okay uh, that's sort of disinfo mind control right through television yeah. programming and stories in the community etc about aliens ufos flying saucers abductions military which are actually military abductions from what many people <laughs> report <laughs> etc things like that but are they also using technology to dumb people down they're doing both uh, so uh yes it is a way uh in which to let's say you're competing economically with another country or in the olympics it's they've been accused of using this uh, um, you can uh, dumb down a population or confuse them. And I say counterintelligence does enough of that just on its own or watching the general mass media news will dumb you down enough. <laughs> but, uh, right. but, but they're doing the opposite experiments too. Uh, we only, in our investigation, we only hear about the people complaining about the tortures and the really brutal experiments that they're doing. <laughs> And then uh, they do, they're doing experiments of uh, combining four or five, up to six minds together, uh, hive minds. Hive minding. Uh, you know, another term is brain nets. And they're doing experiments of how to firewall the human mind. There was a colonel which uh, had a famous paper. Uh, I forget his name right now, but it, it was. Uh, the mind has no firewall. And it's so true. We we didn't involve that. It, it's not part of our structural makeup of the human brain or any brains that I know of. And, um, and so they're trying to develop literally thought filters. So you can't have specific thoughts. But in actuality, you know, what people are reporting in the field, those who are targets, those who are reporting, they are targeted individuals, you know, they are reporting victims of neurotech. They are reporting that, yeah, they can hear hive minds. They can hear people having a sort of roundtable conversation in their mm -hmm. heads, you know, via V2K or synthetic telepathy, etc. And it's not a very pleasant notion. They don't want to hear people talking to them all the time. No, they no, it, it, it's totally stealing one's brain, stealing their soul. You know, there's 
horror movies like called Body Snatcher. And that's in, in its best form, that's what this technology can do. It can run other software, overlay it on your hardware called the brain. And, uh, you know, this brings up so many issues. Well, how can you have justice if you don't know whose mind was behind the actions of the body? And so it's going to turn the justice system on its head. Uh, they can erase memories, reprogram them with false memories. And so you can't even use a polygraph test to see who they are who they are. The CIA has been well known to split personalities and using hypnosis and other things. And one of their old mind control uh, weapons was called REHIC, Remote Hypnotic Intercerebral Control. Um, so let's say you're just connecting two minds. One is a trained mind of how to clone beliefs onto the target mind. Uh, you can make them angry. You can alter their, their voice. Let's say you're a politician and you want to make them sound like an idiot in front of the microphone. You can uh, screw up their speech. You can, I mean, you can alter the outcome of so many things. You can insert thoughts. Um, but some of them were, you're talking about the overt targets that literally uh, extra sensory perception. So we did a lot of that work in the 70s with the Russians. Well, it's true, but I always thought of it as mystical force or whatever. No, no, it's literally training the brain to understand external neural signals. So and so think of extrasensory perception as you're training these brains to accept the signals of something else that is biocorrelated with it to its brain. Um, but uh, yeah, right now it's, it's being used with trickery. So there's, uh, it's called offensive information warfare, general terminology of, uh, you know, that, that can be anything from hacking your computers and uh, spoofing you to your friends saying you sent the email, uh, spoofing your voice, you know, on a phone call. But uh, it, it, it's such a wide uh, variety. This is the more secret um, of the technologies, uh, uh, and especially dream programming. That's the one that people are most susceptible to. Uh, we they can manipulate subliminally your dreams and your dreams affect the conscious when you're awake. Um, and that's just dangerous. Uh, that's not free will. Uh, you're taking away someone's autonomy of thought and, and uh, decision making. Uh, so I don't even like the term free will. I prefer degrees of autonomy. Uh, is the term I would replace that with. Um, it sounds like what you were talking about is there are so many different technologies in use. There are so many different aspects of these mind control programs that are currently being used. You know, as we know from listening to the reports of people out in the field, and as you know, perhaps from also your, doing your interviews and also perhaps from your work, and that's really what I'm interested in finding out more about. I mean, you kind of worked with these guys. You've worked in the DOD, you worked in DARPA, you know, you worked with the CIA. I understand you can talk about everything you worked on, but- No, what you're asking about is, what is their moral alignment? So it seems like, you know, uh, the people who are working on these brain projects, they are interested in probing, going beyond the limits. There are no limits, no borders, no boundaries, no morals, no scruples. You know, head right ahead, see what you can do, see the extent to which you can control somebody else. And they're not just interested in controlling one other person, you know, like in this Manchur Manchurian candidate program. They just want to control one person or two per people or three or four they want to control everybody, right? Uh, I, I think so. But but it's being, again, we're, it's still being rolled out. Um, I would say, I would say it's all grayscale. It's not black and white. So it's a matter of control, how well the cognitive models are working. And that's why they have to grab more people, uh, uh, their models and experiment on them to add them to the probability databases using a Markov 
mosses, uh, et cetera. And so I would say it's probably um, due to the bell curve, uh, 80% rolled out. So, yeah. You said it, about 80%, you think, has been already rolled out? Yeah, I, I would give it about 80%. So they're grabbing the unusual minds, the creative ones, the misfits, the hyper-intelligent. Uh, those minds, they can't model easily into the, you know, their, their basic model. Um, and so they're studying those to add those probabilities. Uh, and they're doing it through, you know, they're using the FBI as well, right? And they're using oh, yeah, yeah. the fakery of the terrorist watch list by putting all the smart people on the terrorist watch list uh, and then subjecting them to these gory experiments, right? Well, you know, I'm always, I, you know, I know a, a couple high level FBI, former FBI, they retired after 20, in their 25 years of service or whatever. And they talk about how corrupt their agencies were, and or it's you know if, if if the highest level of sort of criminal justice has failed this country, there is no hope. You know, the, those at the very top are very conniving, and as long as they can get away with it, uh, they will. How they kept the secret for so long? They haven't. They've hidden it in plain view. It's almost in every movie now you see in Hollywood. Um, and that's kind of their way of saying, no, it must be science fiction for the public, or they're trying to get them used to the concept. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of lies and, you know, cover-ups going on by a media. So. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, one of my professors at Harvard was uh, B.F. Skinner, and he was a behavioral psychologist, world famous. Uh, you know, th these technologies that are being torturing people around the world, uh, causing them to shoot up schools and uh, airports and other things. Uh, they hide it in their news broadcasts. Oh, he's just crazy. You know, <laughs> they don't go any deeper. So um, you think that's really what's kind of prompting the continued secrecy? Because they seem to have uh, a sort of a granite lock here. They, they don't want to to expose this at all they've well, got they've got psychiatry in place you know to tamp down any kind of report from the community where people are actually exposing and whistleblowing about it they bring in the you know you are crazy you are a schizophrenic story yeah, to stop it well i mean you have to imagine uh, try to put yourself in their shoes uh you're some important top brass general of the pentagon you know about this uh you've ordered this and if this leaks out, not only is your career over, you're probably going to go to a Nuremberg trial for treason. Um, so in the shame of the country, such as America, we're supposed to be the world cop and moral leader. You can't say, yeah, we've been manipulating democracies for 60 years and we've been torturing and we made the all this stuff up. you can't so they don't want it to be leaked this way the way they want it leaked is the way i've said on my website oh i think 10 years ago they want a parallel rediscovery among controlled technologies such as what elon musk is doing so he takes the blame um and uh, it is and that's they're, really they're, interesting they want to blame the co commercial yeah. creators of it yes I'm, I'm with you, I, I hate secrecy. And knowing now how this cancer virus of technology has spread in secret to basically overthrow mankind, freedom yes. and democracy, you were talking about how there are very, and I do know this as well, but you probably know this at a much deeper level, the, the very number of, great number of technologies, for instance, used to create the sensation of voices in the skull or the sound of hearing voices. And there's also, you said, many different ways to affect the nervous system. So neurotech has exploded. Um, did you want to kind of address that a little bit, perhaps? Wow, that is such a huge topic i mean that's the like books <laughs> upon books yeah uh so uh, the i can only talk about what the public knows mostly and it's, um you know the, the four different ways to pipe voices in the people's ears uh directionally uh you either have 
a microwave radio frequency energy. And a Dr. Wynn from the University of Chicago, you know, demonstrates this that the brain will vibrate the inner ear with microwave pulses and you send voices that way. Uh, I think it was Medusa is the weaponized uh, army version of that system. Uh, there's there there's some other technologies, the audio spotlight that works on sound pressure waves, a phase ray, uh, you can point at somebody, LRAD, for example, is a long range acoustic device. Um, again, you don't understand how the sound is being projected, but the, the one that's so complicated and the super secret one, which I'll talk about a little bit because it's uh, because I've already done an MIT uh, interview that I've mentioned it on and kind of shown how it's going to work. Um, two brains can create their own language between them, uh, but they have to be trained. They have to be synchronized. So you can use something like the microwave hearing effect on both brains simultaneously, uh, correlate the brainwave patterns, and you have a bi-directional feedback. And eventually they will learn the same vocabulary. And now let's say I'm the man in the middle uh, trying to decipher the spy, your spy, let's pretend you're a spy. And I'm picking up these uh, these radio frequency energies on you, I will not be able to decipher what they mean to your brain. Uh, so it's a spur perfect spy tool. You don't need any electronics, implants, nothing, uh, but it takes a lot of time to develop it. it usually three, three months to a year. Some people does never work, it doesn't work on, but I call it an encrypted, uh, uh, photonics, uh, not photonics, uh, uh, encrypted speech. Uh, and uh, I'm, I, I have uh, simulations with primitive neural networks that I show how it works uh, and how, you, how it operates. But that's the, that's the super secret one because that leads to synthetic telepathy. All the emotions can be controlled of the brain. Uh, touch, taste, sound, we can induce, record uh, these brain signatures and then realign them for that central experience uh, later. Now, the positive things, imagine sharing a dream with your partner and lover, and that'd be a good use. But, yeah, I uh, think right, we may have seen that in Solaris or, you know. Yeah, like yeah, that. or some others. But, but right now it's a good torture tool. So we record the tortures, pains, and et cetera, and replay them among other people. And their brain can't tell the difference. It's suffering. Uh, but we have no, you know how lawyers just make up their own language and definition. Well, it's it's enhanced interrogation it's not torture but the brain then it still is experiencing the trauma and, and pain so th those uh, you know the snakes who get involved with their their spell casting to change the english language and the common definition really bother me sometimes <laughs> oh yeah because that's the same kind of thinking that's transferred over here and it kind of sounds like from what you are saying robert that you're saying that that they're taking two brains and there's no informed consent obviously over here right. this is complete you know railroading of consent completely ignoring because these are pe pe people in the field are reporting that this has happened to them there is no consent so they're taking somebody's brain they're taking somebody's brain waves they are stealing, harvesting their brain waves. They are examining, categorizing them, and then they're kind of merging. This is heterodyning that you're talking about, right? Yes. Heterodyning and cloning. And they're heterodyning with somebody else's brain waves and then kind of cloning that person's brain waves onto yours so that you are becoming another person. Your brain is being seen in this equation as a machine. As correct. Oh, absolutely correct. And, uh, you know, it, it really is, I was going to name my book rather than Project Soul Catchers, Project Soul Stealing. Uh, 
uh, you know, I thought that is be, what it is. It's it, stealing. It, it, it literally is. And you were asking, why do they have to keep it so secret? Well, you can see 95% of the world is religious. You're taking away the belief of free will now, uh, which the religion relies upon and justice relies upon free will. So society will become anarchy if they know we've been doing this for so long. Uh, so they have to keep it secret. Uh, However, at the very same time, you know, we are seeing now they are keeping the, the darkest part secret, no doubt about it, because, you know, this is why TIs are being named mentally ill and so forth. Yeah. And that's the mental illness program, which is very, very wrong. And, you know, something that I'm hoping that all of these conversations can change ultimately. Well, but, uh, could I interrupt you just for okay. a moment? And, because that's an important point. Is the Russians use their psychology community, shrink community, whatever, uh, to put away dissidents. If you don't yeah. agree with the government, Chinese do it, uh, Americans do it. Now it's in our DSM-5, if you disagree too often. Um, so they've you have them. oppositional defined disorder, right? Yes, you know the term, yes, correct. Unbelievable. Isn't it, isn't it's it? It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, but if you go back in history of, uh, let's say, Dr. Ewan Cameron, who was president of the, you know, psychiatric uh, worldwide, uh, you know, community, right. uh, was brainwashing, literally washing, not just programming, washing. Psychic driving, yeah. Psychic driving. And they're still using that technique wirelessly on TIs, except now they're chatterbots rather than two-track tapes to break them down. I want but to get back to that at some point, but, you know, never women, mind. I don't women, want to interrupt you. <laughs> women with mild depression went in, you know, and the CIA likes to take it out of country so we they don't dirty their hands. I think it was the University of Montreal, Toronto. I, I think it was Montreal. And, uh, yeah, about 100 women he destroyed. Their lives, their brains, everything with CIA funding. So right. if this weapon has existed since then, which it has, all we have to do is pay off the top shrinks to add it to the DSM manual as a symptom of a new neurosis that may have come about, but it's a weapon system. And neurosis. they've done it, it and, sounds like. And they've done it, and the shrinks aren't scientists. Remember, they just do correlation. Does a drug help, does it, you know, et cetera. They they don't know. They like physics. the drug bullies. They, they, yeah, <laughs> that's what they are. They're the drug bullies. Uh, as long as the drugs are taxed, they're good to go. You know. I know anyway, they work I side by go. side with all the totalitarians. <laughs> they they sort yeah. of establish fascism. So I mean, it's frightening what the power that's been given to psychiatrists. This issue of psychic driving, you know, and uh, driving people mad, and that that TIs are reporting it. You mentioned that TIs are reporting it, but you know, part of the larger question here is that there are many forms of mind control that are actually being leveled at everybody. Not just oh, TIs, right? yeah, yeah, no, you know, and it's it's weird. Ever since nine eleven, our senators have passed because they're really controlled by the Pentagon and the, you know, paid for by all the okay. uh, contracting companies, yeah. you know, bribed and et cetera. Um, they uh, they pass laws that it's finally legal to use propaganda, although it's always been done on the U.S. citizens. Uh, and they're using counterintelligence. They're going into, uh, you know, Facebook, our support groups, everything like you know. Yes. And they're actually paid government agents to disrupt the conversation. Oh yeah, and, I know, think we have. I'm like familiar our, with that. Our tax dollars are are paying these idiots to harm the truth from coming out to save us. It's a, it's really brilliantly evil. This is brilliantly evil. So I, you know, I've always liked the bad, the villains and bad guys often in the James Bond movies for their brilliance. <laughs> well, 
Shakespeare well, in a my movie. Own government is really evil. You know, I got to admire them for that. <laughs> well, re real life evil is a little bit different than fiction yeah, evil, I as see, you know, as sad. you know, Robert. And you know, and it this is, is horrifying. This has gone on for so long and unnoticed. You know. And that's really... part of the reason why this hasn't come out. Although yeah. I think the main reason it hasn't come out is because media has got the hold on that. You know, it's got mm -hmm. the lid on that. I would like to think that we are busting through that lid and, you know, making our voices heard and our presence I think, felt. I think every bit counts. I, you know, I never thought I would see a solution in my lifetime. But now, you know, if I live another 10 years, I think we might see something real eventually happen, you know, where uh, the, the Pentagon said you can uh, do awful things to about three to six percent of any population falsely in prison, et cetera, in any country. But if the knowledge of that gets over six percent, then a successful revolution can occur. Uh, and so I think we're penetrating that 6% of people know about this level and that it may be a runaway process that everyone will eventually know and justice can be served eventually. So the American people are being propagandized kind of legally. <laughs> yeah. well, everything the Nazis did, you know, killing off the Jews and et cetera, was all legal. So I don't really follow human law that much. It seems quite arbitrary, I mean, country, time frame, civilization, et cetera. Uh, so you got to follow your own moral compass. And I know this is horrible and people need to know the truth. <laughs> Please help me, my heart, they're targeting my heart. Okay, what's your address? Old Town Church. Old Town Church? What's your name? Ryan. My heart is vibrating. It's targeting okay. my heart. It's yeah, a train. My heart, train. My heart, my heart is a train. My heart is a train. They've been training my heart into an irregular beating pattern. One moment. Uh, Torture, 